stick around to find out what I do in the bath on Into the Music's Track of the Day. So if you stuck around after the intro and you watch me right now, that means you're really intrigued about the song because I think I just turned off a lot of people. I don't want to know what you do in a bag. <laughs> TMI. So, but um, but you, hopefully you have also seen the reason why you're here is that you saw that the song title is In the Bath uh, by Lemon Jelly. So um, I'm really tempted to kind of spoil it and tell you about the song and why I love it. Um, but I'm going to shut up and I will keep all that for the other side. <laughs> Doesn't really matter, right? Uh, so let's get into it. What do you do? What do you do in the bath? Love that synthesizer or whatever is like in the background that's gonna la 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 and just I, and that's brilliant because that repeats like throughout and that is essential to the song. Um the song needs that. Um I mean the song, I love the song, that's why I'm doing this, but that piece right there, that's essential. Um, and it's brilliant. of that like that one key that bump 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 b
that and just repeats. Somebody else may just say, ah, not for me, I'm checking out. Not me. I love it. It's hypnotizing. You got an acoustic guitar right there. And, and you hear that acoustic guitar throughout, and I love that. That's like that layer of support behind it. It's 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 great genius. Um, again, I said genius about the other thing with the ah, but all these little things that are sort of being put in here and there. Um, it just helps to make the song what it is. Um, yeah, you know, because again, you know, it's a repetitive. It just keeps going, it keeps going, and. It, it it sounds like the same thing, and I always say that these kind of songs, that if you listen closely, there's something different next time around and next time around. You know, each cycle comes around something a little different. Um, but you need these little things, you know, to sort of make it interesting and keep it, you know, again, the interest from beginning to end. I mean, this is six minutes of just a groove. Ah, I love this song. <laughs> So if this is the first time that you are watching this channel, right, brand new, um, uh, you're going to probably like not realize that I've been going down this uh, path of 
um, Krautrock sounding music. Now, this is not really Krautrock, okay? Not really. I mean, it doesn't really have the instruments and the guitar and all like that. No, this is really electronica, but it's in the spirit of Krautrock that it's a long song, you know, six plus minutes, and it's just repetitive, right? But when we say that, it's not it's not exactly the same thing. You know, I mean, I can't just listen to the same thing for six minutes. Uh, I'll be bored out of my mind. But what I do like uh, and this increase in fascination uh, on my end here with um, the kraut rock spirit of um, you just kind of rinse and repeat, but you add something different the next time around. You know, the next cycle it comes around. Um, it might be like that one chord. It could be a couple of chords, but I, this is just that sort of one sort of one chord. But each time around, there's just something different, um, something in the piano, uh, something in that sort of um, you got that sort of DJ stuff, you know, the little scratching, you know, the mixing thing, you know, <laughs> um, you know, you hear that here, here and there. There's always something different, a little interesting. Um each time around. And in the meantime, what a damn beautiful groove. <laughs> so, I mean, it starts right, right from the beginning. Right? I mean, that sets the tone right there. Right? And that doesn't stop until the end. And then you got that piano. Right? And then it's like, and it picks up and it just takes off. And then you get that little voice, you know, what do you do? What do you do in the bath? And, and it just, and then you've got like this synthesizer, uh, electronic kind of orchestra that's coming in. You get that. Wah, 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 wah. I love that. Um, and that just, that's prominent, right? I mean, you hear that, uh, you know, this it kind of quits a little bit and then you hear it again. But when you hear that, I just, I love that. Like in the first 20 seconds and definitely after the first minute I was in, then that's it. And then it's almost like you want to hear, you know, you want to keep hearing that. You want to keep hearing that. See, that's the thing there. I know there's a lot of you out there uh, who may not really like, like you got me, Give me something different. Give me a change. Give me a bridge. Give me something, you know, give me a left turn and then turn around and spin and come back. I like that too. Um, it's not like I listen to this kind of stuff every single time. Like I, this is it. No, but I mean, I, I, I like diversity in music, music, you know I mean? It, it sort of, it does, it does match a kind of certain mood. And when I'm in the mood for like, you know, give me something that is just hypnotizing, right? And entrances you, brings you in. This is it. You know, it's got that really good groove and it just repeats. And then it's just something a little different here and there. And in the meantime, right, it moves. This moves. I love it, you know. But I can see where some of you, this is not for all. You know, this is not everyone's cup of tea. But, um, yeah, definitely my cup of tea. A uh, big, hot, steaming cup of it. Uh, so lemon jelly, from what I um, looked into, from London. And they were a electronic duo from 1998 through 2008. Fred Deacon and Nick Frangelin. Frangelin? Uh, so they started out with, um, they put out three critically acclaimed EPs in 98, 99, and 2000, respectively followed by three albums before taking a hiatus in 2008. Wiki says a hiatus. I mean, we're talking now, what, 15 years? I mean, I think they're broken up. Um, what do you think? If you like this band, love this band, know this band, let me know. Uh, put that in the comments. Uh, this song is from their first EP in 1998 called The Bath. And then it also reappeared on their first album in 2000. And that album... Um, was called lemon jelly dot k y k y jelly <laughs> is, that, is that what it is anyway um and so that album uh consisted of all nine tracks from their previous eps so there you go and i think there's 
I have listened to some other stuff from them. It's interesting, but nothing really grabbed me. There's one song, and um, that'll come like maybe in a couple of months. But this 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 one just knocked me over. It just did. Uh, so I wonder if it knocks you over. If it knocks you over, tell me why. I really want to hear that. And in the meantime, and put that in the comments. In the meantime, I will see every one of you on the next episode of Into the Music.